<laughs> oh, hi there! Rabbi B here. I'm just getting ready for the next Jewish holiday of Shavuot, or Shavuos. That's the holiday that Hashem gave us the Torah. Wow, that's the greatest holiday of all, I think, because without the Torah, we wouldn't have any mitzvahs or any other holidays. So I'm going to go back to my learning because I like to learn a lot of extra Torah to get ready for Shavuot. Oh, do you hear that? I think I hear... Oh, it's Devorah the bee. Hello, Devorah. <laughs> Hello, hello. Yes, we're getting ready for Shavuos, for Shavuot. Yeah, the holiday when we got the Torah. What's this? Well, I'm learning Torah. You're right, Devorah. This does not look like a Torah at all. <laughs> it actually is a book of Torah called a Chumash. Chumash is one of the books of the Torah. And over here, over here I have other books that are also Torah. There's some Mishnah, some Gemara, some Halacha. There are so many books on Torah and so many ways to read and learn Torah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, okay. So I'll see you later. Okay, Devorah, I have to go back to my learning, all right? Oh, oh Devorah, excuse me. I'm trying to learn. I need to concentrate. Thank you. Devorah, I'm trying to concentrate. Please be quiet. Thank you. Oh, what's that? Oh! <laughs> Devorah wants to learn Torah with me. Come on over. I'll teach you some Torah. <laughs> Chag Shavuot Sameach. Happy Shavuot. Okay, look over here. You see over here? That's where Abraham went and he was going to... Come along, come along, come along right now. We're getting the Torah, I'll show you how. Come along, come along, come along with me. Telling a tale from Jewish history. Come along, come along, come along right now. We're getting the Torah, I'll show you how. Come along, come along, come along with me. We're telling a tale from Jewish history. Shavuot is the special time Hashem gave the Torah on Har Sinai The Torah teaches us what to do The greatest gift for every Jew Come along, come along, come along right now We're getting the Torah, I'll show you how Come along, come along, come along with me Come along with Rabbi B Oh, hi there, Dove Dove. Good morning. Dove Dove is outside of Devorah's hive. I guess they're having their play date. Oh, and Dove Dove has brought something. Dove Dove, did you bring a present? <laughs> that is so nice of you. Something special, a present for Devorah. That's very nice. Buying presents is one of the nice things to do in life. To buy someone something for a birthday or for any reason. Just to say, you're my friend. That's really nice. Should we go see if Devorah's home? All right, let's knock on the hive. Oh, Devorah, someone is here to see you. Ha <laughs> ha, there she is. Hi, Devorah. Dove Dove came today for a play date and he brought you a special present. <laughs> what do we say when someone does something very nice for us? That's right, we say thank you. Or in Hebrew, you can say toda. That's right. Okay, oh, would you like me to open the present for you? Sure, Dove Dove, is that okay if I open the present for Devorah? Okay, great, let's open up the present and see what's inside the present. Huh, Dove Dove, it looks like you bought Devorah a shirt for bears? That looks like a bear shirt. Devorah, that's the present Dove Dove bought for you, yeah. Uh, what's that? You don't like it? Well, it's not really, well... Oh, uh-oh. Devorah? De oh my goodness. What's that? Oh, Dove Dove, I don't think Devorah was very happy with your present. Oh, she wasn't. She was not happy at all with the present. You want to know why? Well, Dove Dove, I think the reason is because you bought something for yourself and not for Devorah. This is a shirt that would fit you. This is made for bears. It even says bear on the front and inside it says bear for bears. 
This is not something that Devorah would ever really use, and it doesn't look like you really bought it for her any either. I think you just gave her one of your shirts. <laughs> it's still nice to give presents. I don't want to make you feel bad that you gave her a present, but you know, when giving a present, you want to make sure you give something that the person who's getting the present will like. So maybe we'll take this back and maybe we'll have to find Devora a different present. Okay? I have an idea, Dovdov. Dov. How about me, you'll meet me in the art room and we'll make a present for Devora together and I'll help you make something that Devora for sure will like. Okay? Okay, great. And of course, buying presents is very hard to do sometimes. We don't always know what people would want. It's very difficult sometimes, but it's very important when you're buying somebody a present to give them something that they would like. Which reminds me, on Shavuos, Shavuot, Hashem gave us a present. Do you know what it was? That's right, it was the Torah. Hashem gave us the Torah on Shavuot. And that was the greatest present ever. And of course, Hashem knows us very well. He knows exactly what we like. He knows we like air, so He gives us oxygen and air to breathe. He knows we like food, so He makes sure that lots of food grows in the world. And Hashem also knows we love to have love. So Hashem gives us families and friends to make sure we feel that love. And of course, Hashem gave us the Torah, the greatest present of all, to teach us how to behave, how to do mitzvahs, and how to be so caring and friendly and good in our lives. Well, I think I'm going to go to my art room and help Dovdo make a new present for Devorah. And maybe we can make a present for our friends and family for Shavuot. I think I have an idea. I'll see you soon. Okay, Dovdo, I'll meet you in the art room in five minutes. See you soon. Hashem gave us a present, do you know what it was? He gave us the Torah, and we should keep its laws. Hashem gave us a present, do you know what it was? He gave us the Torah, and we should keep its laws. Yes, to Bnei Yisrael, Hashem did go. We said, Naseh Nishma, because we love Him so. Yes, to the Jewish people, Hashem did go. We said, yes, we want the Torah, because we love Him so. Yes, we love the Torah, yes, we love Hashem. Yes, we love each other, we'll be best of friends. Yes, we love the Torah, and we love Hashem. And we love each other, we'll be best of friends. Hashem gave us a present, do you know what it was? He gave us the Torah, and we should keep its laws. Hashem gave us a present, do you know what it was? He gave us the Torah, and we should keep its laws. Yes, to Bnei Yisrael, Hashem did go. We said, Naseh Ishma, because we love Him so. Yes, to the Jewish people, Hashem did go. We said, yes, we want the Torah, because we love Him so. Okay, here we are in my arts and crafts room with Dove Dove the Bear, and we're gonna make a present that we know Devora is going to like. And today, we're going to make paper flowers. Flowers made out of paper. Now what you'll need are as follows. A stapler, a pair of scissors. If you're gonna use big scissors, make sure mommy or daddy help you. Or just use a pair of child safe scissors. All right, and of course some tissue paper that people use for wrapping up presents. So it's a perfect present. I have here some orange paper and I have here some yellow paper. Now I think what I like to do sometimes is mix them up. I need five pieces of paper. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of orange, then I'm gonna take a piece of yellow and put that on top. And I pre-cut these papers to be kind of like a long rectangle, rectangle shape. Do, then a piece of orange on top, we'll do a pattern. Then a piece of yellow. You know, we'll just do four pieces for now. Four or five pieces is all that you'll need. So I'll put those other pieces away for next time. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the paper 
in an accordion style, which means you're gonna fold the piece of paper in the corner end up like that. Then you're gonna flip the paper over and flip the paper down, fold it downwards. You're gonna basically be going back and forth like a zigzag. Then you flip the paper, folding it up. Then you'll flip it back. Then you'll fold it up. And lastly, you'll fold it back again. Okay, so when you finished folding it, it'll look like an accordion. An accordion looks like this. I'll show you. See? It's folded almost like a zigzag pattern. Up and down, up and down, up and down, like mountains or triangles. You're gonna have them together. Then you're gonna put a staple right in the middle, as much as you can, as much in the middle as you can. You try to find the middle end right there. That isn't exactly middle, but it's okay for me. That's almost in the middle. Okay. Now, next step, we're gonna be cutting all, like a little bit of a circular shape to the top of the tissue paper corners. We're gonna cut the corners off and kind of make almost like a circular shape on the top and do the same thing on the other side. Because these are gonna be like our flower petals and flower petals are not square shape, they are rounded, they are circular-ish. Okay, there we go, not too much, just at the very tip top, a little circle shape. I'm gonna put those messy pieces away for later. Now, you're basically done. All you have to do is open up your flower. I like to make a little fold to make my flower ready. And now what I'll do is start opening up the pieces of tissue paper to see how my flower looks. I'll open up the inside first, which will be the orange one, and just start opening up your flower. And if it rips a little bit, that's okay. Try your best not to rip it too much. And if it's difficult, just ask a mommy or a daddy for help. Next, we'll do the yellow. That's why also I like doing different colors so I can know how many, where, where the next piece is to know which one to pull out. Because when it's all the same color, sometimes it's hard to know. Okay, and the yellow one. Now we're on to next, the orange. Mm, oops, see I ripped it a little bit, but that's okay. Open it up. And of course, I think flowers are really great presents to make for a mommy or a daddy, especially in time for Shavuot, the holiday of Shavuos, because on Shavuos, Hashem gave us the Torah on Har Sinai, on Mount Sinai. And a miracle happened that Mount Sinai got covered in beautiful flowers. It was just a rocky mountain, but Hashem wanted the mountain to be so beautiful to get the Torah. Or maybe the Torah made the mountain beautiful because the Torah makes our lives so beautiful too. All right, I'm almost done. I have two more left to open, the orange and then the last yellow just to fold up, and then we'll see how it looks. We open up our flower, and lastly, open up, and there we go. Beautiful orange and yellow flower. How nice does that look? I like that, That's a, those are nice colors though, they pick some nice colors. And of course I made some from before, I made a nice blue one. That's just one color, really, really pretty. And I made a blue, a dark blue and a light blue one. That's also very pretty, yeah. And of course I made one with big petals out of purple, kind of like a magenta, a pinky purple kind of color. That's very pretty too. All right, well, you can try it yourself at home just in time for Shavuot. You can make your mommy or daddy a nice bouquet of paper flowers out of the beautiful tissue paper or even maybe out of any paper, I don't know. All right, so there we go, we have some nice flowers. And now Dove Dove, we can bring those flowers to Devora, and I know she'll be very happy to get flowers because she really does like flowers. So you can take those to Devora, and I'll just clean up the mess over here. And you boys and girls, I hope you try it yourself. Have a happy Shavuot. Chag Sameach. Hi, we're gonna play a game called What's in the Box? There's something inside the box that I cannot see. I'm only gonna be able to feel with my fingers what's inside the box. Let's put something inside the box and see if I can guess what it is. Hmm, okay, putting my hands inside. Hmm. Oh, I feel something on the ground here. Let's see, hmm, it's very hard. Oh, it's very heavy. Hmm, oh. Feels like some kind of a book. I can feel the pages. It's a big, heavy book. Maybe it's a book of stories? Hmm. Maybe it's a coloring book. No? Oh, I think I know what it is. Because we're getting ready for Shavuot, it must be a book of Torah, like a chumash. Am I right? Yeah, 
It's a chumash, a book of Torah. That's great. All right, time to put something else in the box. Okay, let's see. Oh, I feel it. Oh, it's plastic. Hmm, maybe it's like a bag of chips or a cookie bag or something. No. Okay, let's see. If I, oh, there's other pieces to it too. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, this feels, oh, it feels like it has some kind of holders on the sides or something. Hmm, let's, oh, there's something inside. It feels like a paper or, oh, this one's easy for me. This is a Torah. Am I right? Yep, it's a Torah. Ha <laughs> ha, that's perfect for Shavuot. We read the Torah, of course, and on Shavuot, Hashem gave us the Torah. Oh, great. That was a really good one. Hmm. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, putting my hands inside, trying to feel around. Oh, oh, there's something here in the middle. Hmm. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Must be a rock or something. Hmm. Nope, not a rock. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I think I can push it with my fingers. Hmm. Feels like a kind of a clay. Oh, but there's something on the front. Hmm. Clay with beads in it? Kind of. Hmm. Okay. I wonder what it could be. Feels all squishy, but hard and heavy. I know it's something made out of clay, but I give up. I don't know what it is. I'll have to take a peek and see what it is. Oh! <laughs> it's a mountain. A mountain made out of clay. <laughs> Maybe that's one of the mountains from the song about Har Sinai and about how Hashem gave the Torah on Har Sinai. Let's take a look at that song. I am a mountain so very high I can reach all the way up to the sky The Torah should be given on me Cause I am as tall as can be, you see I am a mountain so very wide I can reach all the way from side to side the Torah should be given on me For I am as wide as can be, you see Well, I am much better than both of you And there are so many things I can do The Torah should be given on me for I am the best that can be, you see. But little Arsenai stood there and cried. I know I'm not tall, I know I'm not wide. How can the Torah be given on me? I am as plain as can be, you see. So which mountain do you suppose? is the one that Hashem wisely chose. It wasn't the one that was wide or high. Hashem gave the Torah on Har Sinai. Here is Moshe, and here is Sinai. Watch Moshe climb way up high. He got Ten Commandments, the Torah too. Everyone was there. Peekaboo! Here is Moshe, and here is Sinai. Watch Moshe climb way up high. He got Ten Commandments, the Torah too. Everyone was there. Peekaboo! There were once two Torahs, one big and one small. The small one said, I wish I was tall, and so he got his wish. There were once two Torahs, one big and one small. The small one said, I wish I was tall, and so he got his wish. 
There were once two Torahs, one big and one small. The small one said, I wish I was tall. And so he got his wish. There were once two Torahs, one big and one small. The small one said, I wish I were tall. And so he got his wish. There were once two Torahs, one big and one small. The small one said, I like being small. Small, tall, taller, 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 tallest. When Hashem gave us the Torah, He wanted to make sure that the Torah would stay safe and with people that are pure. So He asked the Jewish people, who can guarantee to keep and love the Torah and learn it happily? We will keep the Torah safe, said the earth and the sun. We will always be around to make sure this job is done. But Hashem said, no, no, you it cannot be. I need someone else who can guarantee. Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov were the next to raise their voice. We, we think, think that, that we can do this job. We, we would make, make the, the best choice. But Hashem said, no, no, you it cannot be. I need someone else who can guarantee. How about a first grade Mora? She'll be too busy teaching the Torah. How about workers who work with tools? They'll be too tired to go to the shuls. How about chefs who like to cook? They'll be too stuffed to open a book. How about pilots who fly in planes? They'll have too many thoughts on their brains. What about a doctor or a nice nurse? They won't have time to learn a verse. I need someone with time and nothing more to do than to sit and learn the Torah the whole day through. And because of this person, I'll give the Torah to you. And the Jewish people said, We, we know just who. The boys and the girls, the children can be, the ones who will learn it with a guarantee. We will help them to grow, we will see they succeed. The children are the ones. And Hashem agreed. You see, boys and girls, Hashem chose you to be the ones He gave the Torah to. So learn Torah every day. Let the Torah's words ring. And now here's a song that we all can sing. Eitz ha'ayim hi l'machazikim ba v'tomche ha meyushar derache. The Torah is a tree of life, so hold it oh so tight. Learn about what's written inside, so you can do what's right. Follow the Torah's ways, keep it close every day. And peace will come our way. Shalom. Follow the Torah's ways. Keep it close every day. And peace will come our way. Shalom. Once upon a time, there was a fox. The fox enjoyed walking beside the river each day, hoping to find something to eat. One morning, he saw a big yummy fish swimming in the water. The fox wanted to eat the fish for breakfast, so the fox walked up to the side of the water and called to the fish. 
Excuse me, Mr. Fish. I was wondering if you could come over here and help me with something. The fish swam closer to the side of the water. Good morning, Mr. Fox. What do you need help with? Mr. Fox answered, Come a little closer and I will tell you. Mr. Fish swam a little bit closer and asked, Yes, what is it that you want? Mr. Fox answered, Come over here on the land and I will tell you. Mr. Fish said, I am sorry, but I cannot go out of the water. Mr. Fox asked, Why not? Mr. Fish answered, Because water is my life. It is where I live. I do not want to leave the water. And with that, the fox tried to catch the fish, but the fish was too fast for the fox, and he swam away. There is a lesson in this story, one taught by Rabbi Akiva many years ago. For us Jewish people, said Rabbi Akiva, the Torah is our life. It is where we live, and just like a fish in water, we do not want to go away from the Torah. I'm still hungry. Maybe I'll go home and just have pancakes. Some people have the custom to eat dairy. That's foods made out of milk for Shavuot. And my favorite food made out of milk is cheese. Oh, I love cheese. Blocks of cheese, shredded cheese, slices of cheese, all kinds of cheese. Hmm, did you ever wonder how cheese was made? Well, let's take a look at a cheese factory. Fresh raw milk is delivered to a cheese factory where it is boiled to a hot temperature. Then the cheese maker adds rennet and a special good bacteria that makes the milk thicken and harden. Hmm, I wonder what all those buttons do. And maybe they control the special machines that keep stirring the milk so it doesn't harden too much. They have to keep the cheese separate from the liquid. Then the workers have to separate the small cheese pieces called curds. The workers press the cheese into these blocks and then they cut the blocks into smaller pieces. Ooh, look how soft and smooth that cheese looks. Then they keep the cheese in a special room to let the cheese age and get harder and get different flavors. Next, they have to cut the cheese into the right sizes to ship to stores and families. What kind of cheese does your family buy? Do they buy blocks? Or maybe sliced cheese? And here is shredded cheese. They use that for pizza. Do you ever use shredded cheese in your house? The workers are now packaging the shredded cheese into smaller containers. They have to make sure that each package has the right amount of cheese. Oh look, they're putting a sticker on the ready package. Mm-mm. Looks ready to go to the stores. The cheese is ready and the worker is showing us that it's also kosher. Wow, it sure looks like making cheese is a lot of work. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's so yummy to eat. Well, another thing people eat on Shavuot is cheesecake. And my friend Daniela Silver knows how to make a really yummy recipe just for you. Take a look. Hi guys, today I'm doing a video with my son A.B. Say hi. hi. And we're gonna do a no-bake cheesecake. This is a great recipe to do with kids because you don't have to bake it and they can eat it right away. So you guys are gonna get muffin tins, you can do small or big, and you're just gonna line them with these compartments. So I'm gonna get my helper to help me put them in. And usually when you do a <laughs> cheesecake recipe, you have some sort of cookie base. So instead of processing it, I think it's really easy to take these cookies, just Oreo cookies, just like that. Can you put them in love? And then you're going to put the Oreo cookie right in there. And that is going to be the base 
of the um, of the cheese cake. So you do this, you can put these in here. So while my son is doing that, I'm gonna show you what's in the cream cheese filling. So we have one cup of Greek yogurt. So right now I have strawberry yogurt in the house, so it's gonna be a strawberry cheesecake. So we're gonna put that in with one tub of cream cheese, just like this. And then now we just need a little bit of sweetener. So we have a fourth cup of sugar, and then I have a little bit of honey, also a fourth cup of honey. And we're just gonna mix that up really, really nicely. Mix, mix, mix. You can definitely mix. Okay, so once AB is done mixing, I'm gonna put it into these muffin tins. And Evie's doing such a good job. Now I'm just gonna tell you, once AB is done mixing, we're gonna do a few dollops of the cream cheese filling in these, and then you can top them with either more cookies, or you can add some fresh fruit, or whatever you want. So I'm just gonna take this back for the sake of the video. And we're gonna mix this really well. So this can be done with a handheld mixer, or really just your hand, it doesn't matter, as long as you really blend it nicely. So I probably should have used a bigger bowl, but it doesn't matter. So we're gonna mix, 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 mix. And then we're gonna take a little bit and put it into each little compartment, just like that. You could definitely do it. One second. Yes. Here you go. Evie's gonna do the last one. Put this in. And then as you can see, I'm just gonna top it with some cookies, just cause this is like a cookie cheesecake for kids. And I can stick it into the fridge to harden a little bit, um, in the freezer if you want more of like an ice cream cheesecake. But once again, I can send you the recipe. This is a great recipe for kids. Happy Shavuos, everybody. AB, can you say goodbye to all your friends? Bye. Say happy Shavuos. Happy Shavuos. Well, here we are again outside of Devorah's hive, and I think Dove Dove has a present that Devorah is really gonna like. Let's find out. Oh, Devorah. Devorah, Dove Dove and Rabbi B are here. Hi, Devorah, look. Look what Dove Dove brought for you. Yeah, he brought you some beautiful flowers. Oh, they're just pretend, but he knows how much you love flowers. So he wanted to make some, yeah, there's blue and pink and all different colors, whatever color you like. And we can make more if you like also. Yeah. Oh, she's bringing it into her hive already. She must really like them. Dove Dove, I think you and me came up with a really, really good idea for a present for Devorah. And of course, Hashem gave us the best present of all, the Torah. So have a really happy Shavuot, and I'll see you next time from Rabbi B, Dove Dove, and Devorah. Bye-bye. There is another special mitzvah you can do before Shavuot. You can give tzedakah and buy your very own letter in a Torah. Ask your ima or abba to help you go to kidstorah.org and sign up. It's very easy. Just click on Buy Your Letter Now and fill in all the information like your name, address, and age. It only costs $1.00. When you are done, you will receive this beautiful certificate with your name on it and which letter of the Torah you bought. Please make sure to ask your Ima or Abba permission and for them to do it with you. Chag Shavuot Sameach. Rabbi B loves hearing from fans. Please send any questions, fan mail, or drawings to rabbibmusic at gmail.com.